On today's episode, we're bringing you the Axe 405 Reverse Cam Crossbow. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, so here it is, the Axe 405. I'm really excited to get this thing in my hands, take a couple shots with it, and see how the speed is gonna turn out. Uh, they're claiming speeds in excess of 400 feet per second, which is the 405 number that, that we see on the side of the bow. And this bow is just jam-packed with technology. So just to kind of give you a walkthrough uh, from the bow, so starting from the front end all the way to the back. In the front, we have an adjustable foot stirrup, so you can actually slide this in and out. Uh, makes the bow you know, shorter or longer, bow length overall, 27.75 all the way out to 32 inches um, when you have the foot stirrup fully extended. It is a reverse cam style. A uh, reverse cam style is something that we're seeing more and more come out of the industry. And uh, what I like about that, and, and also with the ax, is that the reverse cam style makes the bow much more centered on the grip when it comes to balance. So you're able to balance that bow a lot easier. You don't have a lot of that front end weight uh, that you do get with your traditional type of, of bows, crossbows. So looking through this bow, you can see a couple of really unique characteristics to it. Number one, there is no rail. Um, so this, is, this uses a uh, free floating um, bolt technology that has uh, rollers on the front and a locking riser, so you stick your, your bolt through the riser and it just sits on this rollers, allowing the bolt to free float, reducing the friction, increasing the speed and accuracy of this bow. In addition to that, you, you do have some nice finger protection on here. Now, you, it has a nice grip in the front too, so you can really, what I would be doing is wrapping my fingers around there, really eliminating the need, uh, but it's a really nice safety tip, something that we look for in all the crossbows just from a safety perspective. The scope's a really nice scope, moving up the bow a little bit. So the scope's a really nice scope. It actually has marks from uh, 20 all the way out to 100 yards in 10 yard increments. Um, so with the power that this bow is packing, you can get some good long distance shots out there. Now, I don't know if I'd be shooting an animal out that far, because uh, there's a lot of factors at play in regards to you know long distance shots like that and the ethical nature of those types of shots. Uh, but you do have some distance that you can go with this crossbow. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna work out for us. So it does have, in addition to that, the uh, crank built in. So the crank is super easy to use. We'll show you how to do it here in just a second, but it is silent as well. So you don't get any of that clicking and it automatically breaks for you as well. So you don't have to worry about letting it go or backing it out. Uh, very, very easy to use. We'll show you how that works in just a second. Um, the safety is on, it's ambidextric. So you, you got it on both sides, both left and right handed. And so I'm really, really, again, excited for this bow to see how it's gonna perform. One more thing about this crossbow is that the buttstock is adjustable. Um, to adjust it, you have to actually take the uh, rubber pad out off the back and then you can put on one or two more extensions on there and then the rubber pad goes on the, uh, the back end of this to uh, make it a little bit longer for you taller, lengthier guys and girls. So cocked axle to axle, you're looking at just under 10 inches, 9.95. Uncocked, you're looking at 14 and a half inches. The power stroke is only gonna be about 13 inches long. Uh, limb weight is 210 pounds. The trigger pull is 3.7 pounds. Um, the overall height is 10.4 inches. Overall length, like I said, 27.75 all the way out to 32. So this bow comes in at just under 10 pounds without the scope. So with all this technology built into it and everything you have, the crank uh, built into it, comes in at just under 10 pounds. Now we weighed this with the scope, the quiver, the arrows on it. It came in at just about 12 pounds. Put it in your hand, it is very well balanced over that grip. So I didn't really mind it all that much in regards to the weight. Um, and then the speed, it, we're looking at 405. We're gonna test that out in just a second. So again, great bow. Um, really, really love the look of it too. This black, these, these, again, great bow. Really love the look of it. The black limbs on here with the camo pattern. Just a phenomenal looking bow. So I can't wait to, to show you guys what this does through the uh, speed test. Speed test on the Axe 405. Right in line. All right, so now let's walk through how to cock this crossbow. So when you're ready to cock it, first and foremost, you can move the foot stirrup out, lock it into place. Pretty simple. And this cocking mechanism, I have to say, is probably one of the best ones on the market. It's just so simple to use. It's all built right in. There's no handles to attach or anything like that. To let it down, 
you go counterclockwise so you'll see how easy it is so once you go counterclockwise it'll drop down it gets stuck up you can always just push it down now if you didn't notice that there was a little click there initially and you'll you'll hear that that's the first click that when it when it goes in the, the dry fire mechanism there's a there's another mechanism in the back that you got to get the string down on and then it's just as simple as going clockwise with the crank now here's something cool let it go automatically breaks and if you notice there's absolutely no sound so very very quiet to cock once it's cocked and all the way in place you will see the trigger mechanism the riser will automatically go from fire into safety once you crank it all the way back all right guys so after you have it cocked we're going to load the arrow in load it in by sticking it through the channel and the riser you'll hear it click and that's it now one thing to note is that this does have any dry fire on there so if you don't push the riser down all the way on the string and you can't get that arrow in you're getting some sort of block and it's not clicking in it's most likely because you have it on the anti dry fire and you didn't put the uh, riser all the way onto the string so check that if you're having any issues smoking all right guys so that's the axe 405 i mean quite an impressive crossbow that that they have here um beginning to end i mean just all the technology packed right into it um, some of the things that we didn't talk about were the, the parallel cam system that just keeps consistency through your shot the whole time. And also these bolts. These bolts are extremely thin. Um, so very, very thin bolt, very strong bolt. It's actually got what looks like a plastic covering towards the front of it as well. Um, and an aluminum knock on there that locks into place when you're loading the crossbow with your bolt. So um, I, I couldn't be more impressed with it. It has a very well-balanced bow shot right in line with what they're claiming to be on the uh the x405 here and just a great looking crossbow and uh, man guys you got to check this out online go to your local dealer and check them out visit fairdine.com to check out the x405 and we'll see you next time here on bhp tesla